Hey, you guys, how many blankets do you think Gatsby will let me wrap him in? Are you ready? Layer one, the tortilla blanket. So sit down, sit down. Good boy, there you go. Here we go. <laughs> tortilla, layer one complete. Layer two, the blanket with corgis on it. <laughs> He's so happy. I put a fan right there just so that he won't overheat. Layer three, the one with tricolor corgis on it. There you go. There's blanket number three. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Layer four, the Sherpa. Doggy blanket. You just stay here. <laughs> You're getting bigger, Gatsby. Here is number four. Is that it? Oh, he's getting out, he's escaping! Gatsby's like, I had enough of your shenanigans. And so for those keeping track, Gatsby let me wrap him in four blankets. <laughs> it's time for us to start the vlog. <laughs> Gatsby's favorite game. Gatsby, new tennis balls. How about that? Drop. Can you drop it? Here it goes. It's gonna fly far. He's like all excited. Ready? Yeah. Oh. There you go. See? You can do it yourself. He's like, but I want you to do it. That's the fun part. Oh. So proud. So my friend saw the last vlog where um, I got some fish and he texted me and he was like, I got you some fish. I'm driving over right now to go and pick it up. So you got it. He gave me a pintail wrasse again. Beautiful. He gave me his um, sail fin tang. It's a baby one. So it's really pretty. Now we're doing a drip acclimation where we drip a little bit of the water into the fishies over here. And you want to make sure that it drips from high up so it aerates the water. Fish grab the oxygen from the water to breathe. That little agitation there is enough to aerate the water. And right now they're just getting used to the aquarium water. You gotta do this for like an hour. Okay, it has been over an hour into the tank. Beautiful. Some food. The pajama cardinal's eating. Yeah, it looks like he's eating too. That's good. Do you see these white spots on the glass here? I was like, what are those? And then I looked really carefully, and they're baby snails. Apparently snails mating in an aquarium is really, really rare. Oh, there, there he is. I think he's eating. I think they're, they're, I think they're all eating. Oh, here's one of the snails. Nobbing away on the algae on the glass. Right now I thought I would give you guys an update on all my plants in my apartment. I just counted, I have 58 plants. So we have these plants over here by the windowsill. As you saw last time, I put up this hanging plant over here. This is actually the one that I've had the longest. And I just strung it across the top. I have a pot that was on this side too. It's a little bit angry. We have my fiddle leaf fig over here. We have this guy over here. I don't even know what this one's called. We have a Venus flytrap. And we have some more plants over here. In reference, we have another fiddle leaf fig right over here. Let's move over to the kitchen. I still have this plant over here. This guy. I have another pothos right over here, which is climbing up. This is like the fastest growing one that I have. Now it's like going all the way up. I'm just using these command hooks over here to just kind of like 
guide it <laughs> where I want it to go. My snake plant over here is getting super tall. We're in the office where I have a lot of plants over here. This guy is getting out of control. The Monstera Deliciosa. And over here we have all of our succulents. The succulent has a little baby. I have another pothos over here which is beginning to show lots of growth. It's gonna be like a jungle in here. I have another fiddle leaf fig over here. This one was from Costco. I started really liking hanging plants so we have quite a few. The little leaves over here are supposed to look like dolphins. We have another pothos right over here. My money tree is showing quite a lot of growth. We have the string of pearls over here which is like one of the first ones I had. It's doing pretty well. It's growing pretty long. And then we have this bathroom over here. This window gets some sun so we have some plants over here as well. We have another snake plant. Snake plants are supposed to clean the air. In the bedroom over here on the windowsill have a few more plants. My friend got me all these pothos plants from Trader Joe's, so I have quite a few. And that is your plant update. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. It's been so wet outside, Gatsby. What do you think? We have to be just exercising indoors. That's what we're going to do. Gatsby and I are shipping out all the orders. This order going to Canada. So if you guys missed the last few vlogs, just wanted to mention again that it's a really good time to get the Valentine's merchandise launch because Valentine's is coming up a lot sooner than you think. So make sure to send some corgi love. We also have some actual signed ones from Gatsby. Of course, we also have our emblem t-shirts over here, which are super nice. This is Corgi on fleek on the sleeve. All right, this person ordered two T-Rex shirts over here. Black Corgi versus T-Rex. And they ordered enough to get a free Valentine's card with their order too. I sent the card to my parents and they were like, oh my gosh, the paper is so thick this year. This is like a card that you would get from like papyrus or something. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> they did turn out pretty nice. Thank you form here. And when you get your order, make sure to tag me hashtag Perky on fleek like these awesome people right over here. Woo! Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go and drop off the orders at the post office and also grab some food at the Asian market. It has been so rainy this past week in the Bay Area. It's crazy. Highway 1 like totally collapsed into the ocean. It's pretty like low. We lost our internet and then we lost all power. <laughs> it's crazy, so much rain. Okay, we made it. Let's figure out what we're gonna get. Ramen topping. That makes things like a thousand times easier. This is the ramen selection here. It's a lot. Ooh. Look, you can get a cool lunch bag. These. Oh look, you can get all these praying animals. A praying, oh look, there's a corgi. Or you can get a praying skunk. I'm home. Oh, hey Gatsby. The dog is cute. Hey Gatsby, I got you some packages from the post office. Should we try opening some stuff up? Ellen from Singapore! Uh, he's like, oh my gosh, do we prune powder? Is that like Lee Moi from Hawaii? Ooh, happy new year! Yes! You put it on like candy or fruit, it's so good. Go! Okay, next one. Happy birthday Gatsby, we love watching your videos from to California, from Hawaii, from Kaiba the Corgi. Look at this. It's a pineapple! For aggressive chewers, he's already chewing on it. Are you an aggressive chewer, Gatsby? You're not, but I'm sure you'll like it. From your friends Zara and Anne, please pick out a gift with the gift cards. Nice! I don't think this one is really for you, Gatsby. Oh, look at this! This is from Carrie Norton. She's always been sending us so many things. Katie from Pensacola, Florida. Oh, Gatsby, look at that. He's so happy. Whoa! 
pumpkin slices? Dog treats, 100% pumpkin, wow. It's an apron, <laughs> Life is short and so are my legs. Zippy paws, happy birthday. <laughs> Gatsby has his hat on. <laughs> you got a balloon, happy birthday. That was so nice of you guys, thank you so much. Okay, so Gatsby was having some soft poop the other day, so the vet suggested that we try this. Just food for dogs, which we will try out. We'll see how this is. You wanna try it out? It smells good, there's like apples and carrots and stuff in it. Here you go. What do you think? Is that good? Seems like Gatsby likes it. Okay, it's dinner time. Woo, I'm excited. We are actually making ramen today, which is so fitting for wearing this apron. For those wondering, it says in Japanese here, it's ramen time. For Christmas this year, my parents got me some ramen from Japan. Look at these. They look really cool, right? They're long because the noodles are like the full length. Is that good Gatsby? Are you still eating? Since we have most of the things already made here, I'm gonna just make some vegetables on the side and we're gonna do the ramen egg. Baby bok choy. I'm just gonna do it with some garlic. And we have our egg from last video. So this is the one that we're gonna use for the egg. Set these up. You just wanna get some garlic sizzling there. The way that I usually do it is just cut it lengthwise. I just wash them. I think the, oh yeah, the garlic's ready. So we're gonna stick these in. It's gonna splatter because it's wet. We're gonna pour a tiny bit of water, like maybe two tablespoons, and then cover it. And we set a timer for three minutes. The whole point is that the water will start to steam the inside. Steamed and cooked at the same time. Salt, pepper, baby bok choy, super simple and easy. Let's stick the egg inside because this one's ready to go. Set a timer for six and a half minutes. You can see the noodles. There's two packs of noodles here. Two packs of soy sauce and whatever this is. Oh, sesame seeds and stuff. Yeah, these are like super thin. Eggs are done, we gotta take those out as soon as possible. Just pour cold water on it and we're just gonna keep pouring cold water on it for like a few minutes. So we're gonna turn off the heat and then we're gonna add the soup base directly inside. So we have our egg, slice. Menma, which is the bamboo shoots that are like marinated. The chashu, which is a pork belly. We have green onions and the wood ear mushrooms. There we have it, our ramen and our side of bok choy. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm just gonna try it with just the noodles first. For the higher quality ramen, you're really just paying for the broth, so the broth has to be good. This one's pretty good. Let's try out the bok choy. I haven't actually eaten ramen that much during the pandemic at all. This is like the second or third time making it in the pandemic. How are you doing, Gatsby? He's hanging out by the fan. Hey guys, guess who's here? <laughs> it's Sean again! So today, we are gonna try doing the Mimic Challenge. I saw this online and I thought it was kind of funny. You guys in the comments below let us know who was able to mimic the sound the best. <laughs> okay, are you gonna go first or should I go first? Um, sure, I can go first. I have, I'll pick my easiest one first. Grok! <laughs> Grok! <laughs> that sounds right! Was I right? That's pretty close. That was pretty close. I think that's pretty good. Okay, well, because you did that, I do have it! <laughs> you get to do it too now. Good job, good job. Good job, John. I give you an A plus. Thank <laughs> you. If I close my eyes, I would not be able to tell which one was which. <laughs> Round two. What do you have? This one, this one's a fun one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, here goes. Is 
Is that about right? Good job. That was good. I think you did a good job. I, I think that sounds about right. That was, that was exactly the same. Who won round two, by the way, you guys? Let us know. Okay, round three. That's all I hear. I think you're close enough. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. Okay, let us know who's who sounded better in that round. Okay, round four. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> that was like not even <laughs> medium. <laughs> <laughs> Final one, Sean, what do you have? Round five, I saved the best the for last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? I think that was pretty good. I think that's pretty spot on. I only get one shot. <laughs> so there you go. Here it goes. In the comments below, let us know who who won. Like, out of all the rounds, who won the most rounds? Thanks, Sean, for playing. Make sure to check out his channel. Put it in the description below, Sean Secrets. Bye. Bye. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's pretty lax video. We are going to head to bed. Don't forget to check out the Valentine's merch. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. So, something really bad happened the other day to the aquarium. I had just fed the fish and I was looking all over going, where is my yellow tank?